New this morning, it is an alarming trend tracked by the Michigan Fire Inspector Society. As of Friday, 22 deaths have been reported in 18 fires in Michigan. That is a 144% year-to-date increase in deaths compared to 2021. When it comes to fires in general, it's a 125% increase compared to last year. This week is also Burn Awareness Week, and it's focused on stopping burning issues in the kitchen and probably beyond yes, in a house. <laughs> absolutely. We are joined by Michael McClear. He's with Escape Fire Safety to talk about some important reminders this morning. Michael, we're so excited to have mm -hmm. you in person. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, and I understand I'm your first guest. You yes, are. Coming back in, yes. so excited about that. Yes. Very exciting. Tell us, um, you know, this is a big jump in our state. It's, it's a sad number. Really. It is. It's been a multi-decades problem, but there's one solution and one word, community. When community comes together, we can solve these problems. And National Burn Awareness Week through the American Burn Association is an excellent opportunity for us to look at some of those risks. Unattended cooking, one of the leading cause for home fires. And that's this week's theme to focus on stand by your pan and watch what you heat, whether we're cooking, baking, boiling, broiling, or frying. Okay, wow, it surprises me that that is such mm -hmm. a huge problem. It um, is. And you know, tell a little bit about what you do because you actually start at, at the young levels to really instill these good responsible habits in children. Absolutely. So ESCAPE stands for education, showing children and adults procedures for evacuations. It's a nonprofit 501c3 public charity. I started in 1995 as a means to educate kids and the community about fire safety and we're out advocating safe cooking practices, safe heating and making sure we prevent that fire from happening in the first place. The best fire is the fire that never happens. Mm -hmm. right. So if we can talk about education, if we can talk about enforcement, engineering, and make sure that we provide smoke alarms to those who need them, but we also educate those that smoke alarms need to be replaced every 10 years. A lot of great solutions with the combination alarms that have smoke and carbon monoxide in here, and it also tells you what action to take and what to do when emergent situations arise. Hmm. Michael, I know you mentioned stand by your pan, which is a cute <laughs> reminder of, of an important thing to do. It is. What what are some other causes? You mentioned unattended cooking, but there has to be some some other issues you want folks to know. So our leading cause of fatal fires in the state and across the country is careless smoking or smoking materials. So we need to make sure if we are going to use uh, tobacco products, we're doing it safely. Better to do it outside. Um, if we do have lighters or matches, making sure we secure them from young, curious hands because mm -hmm. we've seen and news has reported those fires that have been started, especially in Philadelphia, by a young child that had access to a lighter and let the Christmas tree on fire, the Bronx, uh, another mm -hmm. uh, huge loss of life fire where the fire actually started from a malfunctioning space heater. The door didn't close to the apartment. It spread that smoke and that fire. Right. Mm. And speaking of space heaters, that's another big cause, you say, especially obviously this time of year. People right. are just trying to stay warm. I just had someone contact me just a couple weeks ago. Their central furnace heating system went down. It's not operational here in West Michigan. And she's heating her home with two space heaters and no smoke alarms. Not a safe choice. So there's ways to be able to get people connected with resources. 211 is a great resource. Or making sure we're looking out for our neighbors. We're making sure we're connecting everyone together with uh, safety as a top priority. Michael, anything else our viewers should know this morning as we move into this Awareness Week? Absolutely. So stand by your pan. If a fire does occur on the stove, make sure you turn the burner off. Make sure you close the oven door and make sure that you put a lid on that pan. Never cook, carry that cooking uh, pan or that frying pan outdoors because that grease, grease can splatter. It can mm -hmm. cause a burn on us. It can spread that fire. Safety, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yeah, and you don't want to pour water on it either. You never want to pour water right. on it. And again, these are some some of the things that if we plan and we talk when we use the microwave when we have children in our home make sure we do things safely keep kids at least three feet away from anything mm -hmm. uh, that's hot mm -hmm. wonderful michael thank you so much for being here we yes. really appreciate it. thanks Such for having great me in information. a wealth of knowledge always welcome mm -hmm. please thank come you. back i will